bank fraud. So if you have a personal account, you're covered, all right? FDIC, uh, the, the banks in general will cover you on bank fraud, okay? You won't have to be out money. The banks are not going to tell you that you're not necessarily covered if you're a business, okay? There's called the Uniform Commercial Code, and you may not actually be protected. They play some games. Not all of them, but some of them. They play games and they say, well, you know, let's say you report it three days after you realize you've been uh, attacked, right? Or, or your money's gone. And they may say things like, oh, we're so sorry, but we have a two-day limit on that reporting thing, and you reported on the third day, so can't help you. Go to the, if you're a business owner, or hey, if you know somebody that's a business owner, you really care about them, have them make sure they go to the bank, ask them point blank, not just ask them, make them prove it to you that they've got your back if something happens to your business accounts. Now, how do you protect yourself from the bank fraud stuff? Debit card is the easiest thing for criminals to work with. Do not ever use them again. Cut them up and throw them out. No one does this next bullet, but it's the way to do it. A single machine. If you've got to do online banking, okay, one machine, all you ever do is go to that website, you don't do anything else on it. And I'm, I'm, I'll say, yeah, you'd be okay, right? Because you're not checking email, right? You're not going to get infected through something coming in. You're not going to any other website clicking on something. You're just going to the bank. That's what you should do. If you're not going to do that, don't do banking online anymore. Now, for sure, go to your bank if you haven't done it. This is, this is standard uh, things that you might want to do. Go to the bank and say, hey, if somebody ever takes a, uh, if I ever see a withdrawal, you ever see a withdrawal, my account for $100, $1,000, whatever your limit is, whatever you want to put in there, I want to be notified, right? So that way you can be at the front and know something's going on. So you can go to the bank and say, I want, sign up for an email alert on that. And also make sure that they're not going to let a wire transfer ever happen unless you're physically there and you write while they're watching you. And I would suggest that if you're going to, have your money spread out. I mean, this is like the old investment thing, right? Where you have your money in, in multiple things. It's the same thing with, with your money. Put it in multiple accounts, put it in multiple banks. Be my suggestion. 